Suffolk County Music Service presents The Sky, a how to play guide for Wicket students. Hello everyone and welcome back to your Wicket instrumental lessons. Today we're going to teach you how to play The Sky by Sarah Watts. Don't get your instrument out yet, we're going to listen first. And after that we're going to learn some of the patterns in the music and then we'll get down to some playing. Remember, you can stop and take a break at any time. We have lots of short learning bites for you, so you can even do this over several days and repeat bits as you practice them and get better. See you later. Before you play, we're going to ask you to be a musical detective. Listen to the music, think about it and write down what you think. Pause the video at the end of the music and give yourself some thinking time. So what are we going to be thinking about? First, are there any repeated sections in the music? Things that we remember, things that have happened twice in a row. What happens in the middle? Is it different to the music at the beginning? And what's the music like at the end? Next, we're going to think about the rhythm. Are all the notes the same length? or are some longer than others? Are there any silences, rests, where the instrument doesn't play? Listen to The Sky by Sarah Watts and remember, pause the video at the end of the music. Pause the video now and write down what you think. If you want to listen to it again, you can go back and do that too. Why not tell somebody at home what you found out and see what they think? So what have you found out? If you're listening really carefully, you might have found that this piece has three sections. The structure or how it's built, the form. The music at the end is the same melody as the music at the beginning. The music in the middle is different. We call this structure by a special name, ternary form. The piece uses different rhythms to make the music interesting. It has long notes, shorter notes and silences. And it also has something to shout out. Did you spot that in the introduction? Well done. Now let's learn about the notes which make up the rhythms. Now let's look at the notes we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing crotchets worth one beat, minims worth two beats, quavers worth half a beat each, and they usually come in pairs, and semi-briefs, which are worth four beats. They are not coloured in, they have no tails. So let's start our click track. We're going to clap along with the pulse. The word is walk. Clap along with me. 
walk, 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 walk. Well done. Now we're going to do minims. Minims are worth two beats and the word is sway. Here we go. Sway, a, sway, a, sway, a, sway, a, sway, a, sway, a. Fantastic. Let's have a go at quavers. Word is running. Here we go. Running, 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 running. Good. Now let's have a go at semi breathes. Sleep, eep, eep, sleep, eep, sleep, eep, sleep, eep, I wonder if we can put those together. If we've got the count going on our head, we're going to do some copy back patterns. Here we go, my turn first. Walk, walk, swear, a. Walk, walk, swear, a. Swear, a, walk, walk. Swear, a, walk, walk. Running, 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 running. Running, 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 running. Sleep, e, e, eep. Sleep, e, e, eep. Well done. Well done. Now it's time to get your instrument out and warm up. Or you can stop and then play another day. It's entirely up to you. First, take your violin out of your case and put the sponge on it. After that, tighten your bow and put some rosin on it. Make sure you go through your checklist before you play. Violin on my shoulder, correct bow hold, and a straight bow stroke. Let's start with some warm ups. Rest your bow on the E string between the bridge and the fingerboard. We're going to play four short bows on the E string. Listen first, after four. One, two, three, four. Now it's your turn. Ready? After four. One, two, three, four. Good. Now we're going to go to play some long bows, trying to keep it as smooth as you can. Each bow is going to last for four beats. Listen first, after four. One, two, three, four. Now your turn. Ready? Bow on the E string, really nice and smooth. After four. One, two, Three, four. Now have a go at this warm up by yourself on the other strings, the A string, the D string and the G string. Remember to count yourself in each time, to start your short bows right in the middle and to start your long bows right at the heel of the bow and make them really smooth. When you've done that, perhaps you could try making up your own rhythms and having some fun with the notes. What do I need to know before I play? We're going to be using the G string, our first finger, on the G string giving us the note A and the D string. We need to know where these notes are written. G sits underneath the stave. A is underneath the stave on the line and D sits underneath the line. And we need to know how the rhythm patterns are written out. So we're going to be using crotchets, one beat notes, minims, two beat notes, 
semi-briefs, four beat notes, and quavers, which are half a beat each. Now we're going to use the notes that we know to learn the rhythm patterns from the sky. We're going to concentrate on sections A and C, the first and the last bits. We'll leave the middle bit till later. First time I do it, I'd like you to listen. And then after that, you can join in with me. I'll tell you when to stop. Here we go. Time to listen. Sway, walk, walk, sway, 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 walk, walk, sway. Rest, two, walk, 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 running, rest, two, sleep, two, three, four, running, run. Here we go. Sway, walk, walk, sway, 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 walk, walk, sway, rest, two, walk, 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 walk. Running, rest, two, sleep, two, three, four, running, running, let's do it again. Sway, walk, walk, sway, 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 walk, walk, sway, rest, two, walk, 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 running, rest, two, sleep, two, three, four, Running, running. Well done. I think that's enough of that for today. So let's go to the next slide. In this piece for section A, you're going to need your first finger on the G string. See if you can find the sticker where your finger needs to go, your first finger on the G string, and press it down. It should sound like this. Why don't we play that note four times? After four. One, two, three, four. Now that we know where that finger goes, we're going to hover the finger there, take your finger off, we're going to play our open G four times, and then put the finger back on again, and play G1 four times as well. It's going to sound like this. Listen first. Open. Then put your finger down and play the next one four times. Now it's your turn. Open G and your finger ready for G1. Ready? After four. One, two, three, four. Finger down, next one. Let's see what this piece sounds like. Follow the notes and listen. One, two, three, four. your turn. We're going to play along after a count of four. Remember to have your first finger ready and when we repeat circle the bow ready to start at the heel again. G string ready after four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Breath. 
rest, rest. G, 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 A, 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 rest, rest. D, G, 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 rest, repeat. G, 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 D, D, G, 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 D, rest. Rest. G. 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 A. 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 Rest. Rest. D. This piece has an introduction before you play. You have to count in your heads. One, two, three, hey. One, two, three, ha, and then count up to eight before you start. So let's see if we can play this piece together. Ready, steady, off we go. One, two, three, hey. One, two, three, ha. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Fantastic! Keep practicing section A this week. Play it slowly at first and then get faster as you find it easier. Next time we'll add sections B and C and then we'll play the whole piece through.